wanted to compare equations as to why the state is supposed to bond is one that the accused person is a flight risk you know this is captured from paragraph 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 memory that one the accused person has to travel documents and the accused person has a passport from the Democratic Republic of Congo <coughs> which he did not use to gain entry into the country and instead used an interstate pass relying on a national ID from the Republic of Uganda. Interstate pass from the Republic of Uganda Yona, those annexures are annexed in the affidavit. Yona, the use of the interstate pass points to him trying to conceal his entry into the country and not using his passport. He has no fixed place of abode in the country. And those two, Yona, point that the accused person is a flight risk. Yona, the second issue is the true identity of the person before court from the charge sheet. There are two aliases which the accused person uses, which are captured in the travel document as well as the Ugandan ID card. It is necessary to identify and to establish the true identity of the person before court. And the state is apprehensive that if the accused person was to be granted bond at this stage, without his identity being established, that goes to my first to buttress my first point that he is a flight risk because he could escape the jurisdiction of this court and we would not know who escaped the jurisdiction of the court.